All right, so welcome back again. So in the previous tutorial, we saw how to use Strawberry to be able to build a GraphQL API. And then we saw how it works, right? As you could see from the previous tutorial, we could make some queries, we could get some information. What if you don't want to use this particular interface to make your query? How do you make queries? How do you fetch data, right? From outside here, not from here, but from a different client, right? So that is the basic understanding. So in this case, we want to use a different client, not the Django GraphQL client that we have, but we want to use a different client to make queries from, or to fetch data from this, our endpoint that we have, right? So the endpoint we have is this particular endpoint. How do you fetch data? Like in case you are using REST, how would you have done it? So I'm so trying to see how to do that. So there are a lot of packages that allows you to be able to do that. But the one we're using is called JKL, right? So JKL is a package that you are using. If I go back to PyPy, this PyPy, there is a package called J GraphQL, right? So this is a package, so there are lots. So this is the one we are using, right? The client. So in case you don't have, you can just install it with this option here to install it on your system. So copy this one and then you can install it here. So I'll just get out of here. Right, and I can now install it, right? That is how it, I already have it. So we don't need to install it, right? And then I'm going to create my file. So let's create a file called, let's say fetch data dot pi. And then I'll be using VS code for now to differentiate between what I was in previously. And how do you fetch data from here? From here, how do you fetch the same data that we had, right? So we had this particular data that we had in case I want to fetch it, right? Not using this, but to use from Python, maybe from a software that you're working on. How do you do that? So the simplest way is just go with this option here, right? And then I'm going to go with from JKL, right? Import JKL, right? And then you also need to import your client. That is it, right? And then I'm going to say from JKL the transport the input asynchronous IO HTTP import we have here yeah. right we have this right so that is a basic understanding so I'm just importing J JKL right my client and then this particular one from here perfect and then I'm going to select my endpoint, right? So the endpoint I want to select, the endpoint, right, that I want to use. So it's going to be my transport layer. And I'm going to pass in my ALT hope. And my URL is going to be this particular URL that we had, this endpoint, right? So this is the endpoint you are fetching data from. So it's, in your case, it can be any one of them. I'm going to pass it here. And I'll close it, right? So this is the endpoint we're making our queries from. Then we also need to create our query client, right? So this is going to be create yeah, our graph okay, our client. So it's going to be my client that I have. Then the client I have that takes in the transport. Let's go to transport. And then the, the fetch schema. From we have fetch schema from transport. Argument or oh. which is going to be true, right? So we want to fetch our schema right from this particular transport layer that we have here. That is it. Now let's make our query. How do you make the query? Go to query, then this goes with my GKL. GraphQL, GKL, and then we can just put in our string of data. So that is all. So the data that we would have sent here, which was this particular data, this particular data that we would have sent here, right? We can just use the same data here, right? The same data. So that particular data is what you are passing here, right? We can just take off this, it's still going to work. 
right? You have put inside a string, and now we can now make our query. So let's execute it. So in that case, it's going to be the result that I want is going to be my client dot execute my query, and let's print it out. So that is the basic understanding. So we have it here. So in case we want to get the data, we can just open it inside our terminal and get that particular data there, right? So terminal, and oh, this has activated this, so it is possible that it may not work, but let's see. Python, fetch data. So the reason it's not working is that this has been activated, right? So it's not going to work. I have to pip install jkl all I'm using pyenv that's why right so it's actually installing it here as you can see it activated it here that's why it failed so it's running everything and then we can start running it right you have to make sure that you have internet of course perfect so that's finish and now let's run it again now I see that that's fetched the data, right? The same data that we had here, which is in our here, right? The same data, let me switch it side by side, is the same data we are getting inside here. Right, so we are getting almost the same data, right? The same data we, we had here, right? Is what we are getting here. So that's one of the ways you can use a different client to get it so just import graphql or jkl you specify the endpoint you want to fetch your data which is the same endpoint here you specify your client and then you specify the query that you want to make right so this is a query that you want to make and then you can see that the data has come perfectly well right you can also use prettify to prettify it as you wish that is how to use a different client to make queries from an GraphQL endpoint, right? From a GraphQL endpoint. So thank you for watching this tutorial. See you another time. You can also use Graphene, you can also use Strawberry itself, you can also use any of them. Thank you. See you another time. Bye.